Hi, this is Priya from Biology Concept. Today, we will discuss about apoptosis. So, in this video, we are going to discuss what is apoptosis, cellular changes during apoptosis, what is caspase and the pathways which makes apoptotic uh, process and the comparative view of apoptosis process in mammals and C. elegans that is a model organism and the factors at last we will discuss about the factors which stimulate apoptosis. So now I am going to start one by one. So apoptosis it is a programmed cell death. It occurs only in multicellular organisms, never found in unicellular because unicellular organisms are only single cell and if one cell will become die, so how the living organism will survive? So it always occurs in multicellular organisms. Second point is it is sequential, ordered and active process. Active process means it is energy dependent process and sequential it will take in a stepwise manner and everything should be ordered, never unordered form. Membrane blabbing, it is the basic point to understand the apoptotic pathway and in this process there will be breakage of cytoskeleton. So cytoskeleton, it includes microfilaments, intermediate filaments and microtubules. In the process of apoptosis, volume and the size of cell, it will decrease. Okay, so this is a cyclic chart through which you can easily able to understand what is the apoptosis process. Here in this figure, this is the normal cell and in this, when cell, it will shrink, chromatin condensation will take place and after this, there will be blabbing of the membrane and the nuclear, finally nucleus will collapse, there will be continued blabbing apoptotic bodies will form and finally lysis. Yes, this is the pathways which are involved in the apoptosis. So this one is the intrinsic pathway and this is the extrinsic pathway. Okay, so intrinsic pathway this is totally mitochondria dependent process. Intrinsic pathway it is mitochondria dependent pathway it initiate when cytochrome C is released from IMS to cytoplasm. In this intrinsic pathway, the initiator caspase is the caspase 9. You have to remember this point. For intrinsic pathway, initiator caspase is caspase 9. For extrinsic pathway, initiator caspase is caspase 8. And the effector caspase for both the pathways, intrinsic as well as extrinsic, that is the caspase 3 or caspase 7 or 6 also. So caspase 3, 6, 7, these all are effector caspases. And initiator caspase, I told you, they are different in intrinsic as well as in extrinsic pathway. So we are going to discuss this process in detail one by one. So what actually is happening here in this process so in intrinsic pathway it is mitochondria dependent I told you earlier. So in this there will be release of the cytochrome C from IMS to the cytoplasm. Basically it when it will perform this pathway will perform only when there will be a stressful condition or you can say there will be DNA damage or like viral infections stressful condition or viral infections or accumulations of reactive oxygen species. There will be change in the cytoskeleton or lack of the growth factors. So, when mitochondrial membrane they are releasing the cytochrome C, cytochrome C along with APOF1, APOF1, what is APOF1? We are going to discuss here. So, APOF1 is apoptosis protease, A is apoptosis protease activating factor. I am repeating once again, apoptotic protease activating factor 1. Along with this APOF1 cytochrome C and as I told you it is energy dependent or active process with the help of ATP it will form apoptosome. It is a complex which consists of APOF1 and cytochrome C. 
So there will be activation of the caspase 9 and finally there will be a factor caspase apoptosis will happen. So what happens in extrinsic pathway? So there will be binding of FAS L. These are the death ligands or TNF alpha or FAS L or TRAIL. So there are the receptors. These ligands are binding, going to bind with these receptors. And these are the adapters that is the FAD and TRAD. TRAD is fast associated death domain and TRAD is tumor, tumor receptor associated death, tumor necrosis factor receptor associated death domain. They are going to form disc complex that is the death, death inducing signaling complex. So it will convert procaspase 8 into caspase 8. This procaspase is in inactive form. It will get converted into active form. This is the autocatalytic activation. So this procaspase, it will get converted into caspase 8. And finally, with the help of effector caspase, apoptosis process will be there. Now in this slide, we are going to discuss what are caspases as we have discussed about caspase 8, caspase 9, caspase 3 or 6 or 7. So it is very much necessary to understand what basically are caspases. So they, they are a group of the protease or you can say these are the enzymes that degrade protein. Normally they exist in inactive form but they become active when apoptosis starts. Normally, they exist in inactive form. So, these caspases, this is the cysteine residues, active on act, uh, residues on active side, that is why it is C, and it is acting on aspartic acid during the proteolysis, that is why, that is why ASP, that is the C, ASP casp, and ASES is the suffix for AS. Okay, so in this slide we are going to discuss again as I told you earlier the two pathways are there intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathway. As I told you in intrinsic pathway mitochondria is involved totally there will be intrinsic lethal stimuli DNA damage or ER stress hypoxia that is the lack of oxygen or metabolic stressful conditions cytochrome C it will release out along with the APOF1 apoptosome caspase 9 and the effector caspase 3 or 7 apoptosis will perform S similarly in the same way in the extrinsic pathway there are the receptors that is the fast l or death receptors fral and fast in this pro caspase 8 it will get converted into caspase 8 pro caspase it is the inactive form and caspase 8 is the active form along with the effector caspase it will get converted into Along with the effector caspase 3 and 7, there will be process of apoptosis. So this is the comparative view as I told you in the content part. That is a, there is a comparative view of apoptosis process in C. elegans as well as in mammals. So in this you can see EGL1, it will suppress the activity of SED9 that act as a regulator in C. elegans. And it will also suppress the activity of adapter protein that is the set 4 and initiator caspases, effector caspases set 3. So you have to understand this key point or learn this key point in your mind or keep this point in your mind that is set 9 it is the regulator protein, set 4 is the adapter protein and set 3 is the effector caspase in C elegans. Similarly in the same way bad and big they are the proteins that will suppress the BCL2 that is the anti-apoptotic and it will suppress the APOF1. APOF1 I told you along with the cytochrome C and APOF1 it will form apoptosome. It will activate caspase 9 and along with this effector caspase 3. In this, in this way, in this pathway flip it will suppress fat, fast associated death domain or along with the caspase 8 finally effector caspase 3. So even cell death is performed, programmed into the lineage. C. elegans was used to identify the machinery that regulates program cell death in vertebrates. I told you C. elegans is a model organism. So in C. elegans and vertebrates, I told you this is the comparative view. You have to keep this uh, point in your mind. That is the, what are the regulator proteins, what are the effector proteins and what are the adapters. So set, uh, set for F of 1. I think in CSR exam, 
once this question came that uh, there is a comparative view the question i have asked about the comparative view of c elegans and the vertebrates so set 9 it is similarly as bcl2 they both are anti apoptotic you can say or set 4 or apo1 they are the adapter protein so once csi in csi as ugc net examination this question has asked and the effector is set 3 and the caspase 9 in c elegans this is the death in vertebrate this is the caspase 3 or death so now we are going to discuss what are the factors it is very important to understand which factors are going to stimulate the process of apoptosis although we have studied basics of the apoptosis but now it is very important to remember the points remember these key points in your mind that is when this process will perform when this process will take place so when there will be any dna damage or there will be lack of growth factors there will be hypoxic condition there will be lack of oxygen accumulation of reactive oxygen species calcium concentration sometimes high so many infections which are caused by viruses or viral infection or as you all know for any cell division there will be signals received when there will be no signal received for cell division although cell is going for cell division then there will be apoptotic some biochemical changes is which are going to occur during apoptosis that is the phosphatidylserine it will flip from inner leaflet to outer leaflet as you know phosphatidylserine it is always residing in the inner leaflet of the plasma membrane it will flip from inner to outer cytochrome c it will leak in cytoplasm from the mitochondria from ims i told you earlier the loss of the electrochemical gradient across the membrane these are the, all are the biochemical changes yes this is very important point so many students will come confused at this point about apoptosis and necrosis so what is apoptosis and what is necrosis it is very basic so apoptosis in one line you can say cell is going to suicide by itself so but uh, what actually happens in necrosis in necrosis it represent accidental death or you can say cell injury in which cytoplasmic material will leak out in the ecf and it will cause inflammation this is the process of necrosis while in the process of apoptosis there will be cell suicide cell is going to suicide it is active ordered and sequential process i told you earlier in this there will be formation of apoptotic bodies so this is a also a diagram based on the slide you can easily understand by this diagrams so this is the normal cell this is the reversible swelling irreversible swelling so this is the reversible this is irreversible and finally disintegration and in this apoptosis normal cell condensation process fragmentation three fragments are formed and finally so many apoptotic bodies will form so friends i hope you all have understand this video very well if you feel any problem you can write me in comment box as your query i will reply as soon as possible so try to solve all the question which have asked in any competitive exams related to apoptosis topic you can easily able to solve all the problems if you feel any problem you can ask me in my comment box or you can directly contact me through gmail so i hope you all have understood very well please try to share this video with your friends so that my channel can become more famous and please subscribe to my channel hit the like button thank you friends i hope we will meet soon